Hi, right. Flick here from the Nerd Soapbox, and today we're at the 2021 Comic Con Revolution in Ontario and with a special guest. Our guest is an actor and voice actor, best known to the Nerd Soapbox gang for her role as Teresa Russo in the Disney Channel family sitcom Wizards of Waverly Place. She is also the voice of Hawk Girl in Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. Also, Sunset Boulevard is in the Disney Channel show, Proud Family, and Paulina in the Nickelodeon show, Danny Phantom. Well, we are about to talk to Maria Canales Barrera. Close, <gasps> almost perfect. Help me out here. Maria Canales Barrera. Maria Canales? Yeah, canals, Th like lakes, rivers, oceans, canals. Th that name is almost as beautiful as you are. Thank you, it's a Catalan name, Canals, oh, well, Spanish. It's a, so. It's a pleasure to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're so soft. What well, I, I moisturize. I was going to ask you, what, yeah, what brand do you use? Oh, Nivea. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> what, how was your convention so far? A blast. Busy, yeah. exciting. Yeah, yeah. The people are really nice and lots of fans coming up all the time. I didn't realize it was going to be so busy. I'm happy about it. That's awesome. What? Tell me, what, what, what was your fandom growing up? Were you into dolls or sports or comic books or cartoons? Or oh, I liked... Were you into puppets? Um, you know, okay. All right. I loved Barbies. Yeah, yeah. And the puppets that I was into. Yeah. Were were puppets we created. My sister created right. puppets. This guy. Buck, 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 buck. <laughs> this was seasoning chicken. That's his name. <laughs> oh, hello there. My name is seasoning chicken. <laughs> and seasoning chicken had a cooking show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you put the chicken in there with the chicken in the oven and the buck, buck, buck. <laughs> And then she had my sister Dora was just, yeah. and you know we would watch TV shows, and then when a commercial would come on, she'd whip out one of her hand puppets. This one is Little Lovin'. Hey, <laughs> how are you? Little Lovin', okay, Little Lovin', and I used to love them like they were my children. Aww. Oh, and then this one was Big Eyeball. Look at him. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so yes, we just created our own. Oh. Did you ever create your own puppets with your hands? I, I have a couple at home. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I love puppets. Yeah, puppets are sweet. <laughs> so, so tell me. Yeah. The, the, the Nerd Soapbox Gang first noticed you yeah. as uh, Teresa Russo. Yeah. The mortal mother of the lead character in was uh, character in Wizard in Training, Alex Russo, played yeah. by Celine, Celine, Selena Gomez. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm sure what? you're a huge fan. <laughs> I well that she was a, quite adorable. She's beautiful. Yeah. Yes, that was a can wonderful you, show to can, be part of. Can, can you identify any of these uh, products we have here under the table here? Let's see. This is a, a football phone and a singing fish trophy and a toaster with a four-year-old bagel stuck in it. Yeah, from my show, from Wizards. <laughs> you got that, yeah. Oh, Very my gosh. Good. You have all those products. I, I got them. That is so cool. How'd you get your hands on those? Oh, I'm sorry. I just spilled some orange soda. There. How'd you get those soft little mitts on those products, huh? <laughs> Well, You're so cute. Before you played the before you played the mother of three young wizards in training. Yeah. But would you, you, made, you got some major nerd cred with yeah. the comic book people. Yes. For your voice work as Hawk Girl. Yes. In uh, Bruce Tibbs Justice League, the animated series. Uh, how, how did uh, your Hawk Girl, playing Hawk Girl, come about? Well, I was already um, recurring on another show. Uh, it was my first big voice job, and it was a fun little part, and it was Static Shock show. And I was yeah. Shelly Sandoval reporting. I was a reporter. Yeah. And then uh, the director was Andrea Romano, and she brought me in to read for Hot Girl. And I had no idea that it would become such an incredible, iconic show. I knew the characters were iconic, but oh, yeah. I wasn't familiar with the Hot Girl character. Of course, I heard of Superman and Wonder Woman. And uh, in the audition, I had to be Shayera thinking about Thanagar missing her home planet. So I used all the emotions I had missing Miami, where I'm from. All I was right. born and raised in Miami. My parents are Cuban. I was thinking about Cuban food, Cuban music, Cuban culture, Miami. The, and I brought all that longing up, up, up to the surface and used it as Shayera, and I got the part. And I'm oh. thrilled about it 20 something years later. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. But you, it, both Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, but they had fantastic casts. Yes, yeah. they did. Kevin Conroy and oh. George, 
George Newbern and uh, Susan Eisenberg That's and Phil right. Lamar and did, did just could you please share with us a favorite recording session story or some oh kind gosh. of a remembrance from your time as a hot girl? Well, you know, Andrea used to have us all in the same room. Really? And that's not common. Usually, you know, you record by yourself in a right. sound yeah, yeah, yeah. booth. Uh, but she really liked that energy that the living bodies of the actors being in the same room gave the show. So as often as possible, she would have us all together. Yeah. And uh, of course, you know we're going to be cutting up and <laughs> trying to throw each other off and making jokes. And yeah. this one over here, I don't know if you had a chance to chat with him yet, George, George? Newber, who voices oh, yeah. Superman, is hilarious. And so is um, Rosie, Michael Rosenbaum. <laughs> and they would just make the funniest comments to try to crack each other up yeah, and yeah, some yeah. of them were like not appropriate and <laughs> hilarious just hilarious and so we all had to maintain our composure and professionalism and there's just a myriad of jokes and I just remember just trying to hold and contain my laughter it was so fun wow okay you tell us what was your reaction to reading the script for the Justice League season 2 finale Starcrossed Ooh. with the uh, with that Thanagarian uh, invasion. Yeah, oh my goodness. Well, you know, I, they don't tell actors anything. Right, right, right. We just get handed the script and we have to embody it, right? Oh yeah. So they don't care what our opinions are necessarily, so uh, we don't get a say, basically. Which is kind of good, because then we're really using that real moment. And oh, yeah. so, of course, I read the script and I was like, what? She's betraying the league. I was <laughs> foolishly upset about it. And then I realized, oh my goodness, no, this is actually wonderful because conflict creates drama, which makes oh, yeah. things more interesting. So I was very grateful, especially when I saw how much attention it drew to the character and her plight and her storyline, and it was exciting. And then, of course, the romance between the Green Lantern and myself as Shaira was beautiful, wasn't it? <laughs> wow. Do you remember that? I, I was so jealous. Let me tell you, I was, seriously, I was like, this is romantic. This is like a cartoon. This is an animated show, but it is downright cinematic and beautiful. And people were really emotional about it. Yeah. Do you remember when he said, when I said to him, John, we're so different. And he said, I'm a man and you're a woman. <laughs> remember that? <laughs> and I was like, oh, you're right. I mean, I'm a bird, but I'm also a woman. I got chills. And and you are green and weird, but yes, we love each other, and why not, right? right why right. not? I mean, skin color is just skin color. Yeah. Right? I mean, species I'm, is just species. I'm purple and I'm a puppet. Uh, and yeah. you're gorgeous. Thank you. But I'm ma happily married. I don't mean to flirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you also you, you touched on. Uh, Sally Shandoval, Sally, Shelly, I'm, I'm so nervous right now. I just, I've never been this close to a pretty girl. This oh, is, I'm usually into comic books and games and stuff. I'm assuming you're vaccinated. You oh, know, yeah. it is COVID. Oh, I'm, honey, I was washed last night in bleach with the socks. I am ready to go. Perfect. <laughs> Wish I could oh, do yeah. that to myself. <laughs> so you were going to ask me about Shelly Sandoval. Well, yeah, that was, was a gonna, fun little part. I was wondering if we could hear a little bit of a couple of your characters. Maybe um, Shelly. Shelly and... Sandoval reporting. Well, you know, they say the first name in English for us bilingual people. Yeah. I'm Shelly Sandoval reporting. <laughs> I love that. How about a little bit of hot girl? Hot girl. Um, I'm only trying to think. Wait. Yeah. What would she say? She would say, um, John. We have to make it to the encampment in time. Watch out! Ha! 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 With my mace, remember wow. that? Do you know I was pregnant during twice Whoa. with both my daughters during the four years that we recorded? All right. And that was really cool because, you know, I get to. I couldn't tell in the cartoon at all. You couldn't tell. No. I looked great, didn't I? Yeah. I had no baby weight on on oh. TV. Well, I really enjoyed doing that because. I could, I, could, I could be a warrior, even though I was oh, yeah. very vulnerable as a pregnant woman. And sometimes I'd get a little like, oh, ah, ah. and Andrea would say, she's a warrior. She's a warrior. She's not a pregnant princess, right? So I'd have to go from I to ha. And that was a good, uh, you know, like um, gear shift for yeah. me. How about Paulina? 
Paulina was like, oh my gosh, Danny. <laughs> Hi, Danny. She thought she was God's gift. But let me tell you, yeah. she was. Look how freaking gorgeous she is. <laughs> wow. So she's really stuck up and, you know, she was like the best one in school and he liked her and I loved being her. She was a blast. What, what and then I like her too. She, you know, there's a reboot, a Proud Family. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so I'm tough. You know, I'm a cop. <laughs> and so uh, I tell Felix, you know, get with the program, you know, and we got a daughter, and we got a razor, we got to do our job. So I'm all business. I'm tough. All right. But I'm also spicy. And of course, you can see that she's also uh, of Latin heritage, which is nice to incorporate uh, people of all different kinds of backgrounds oh, in the yeah. American stories. Yeah, yeah. And so it's making more realistic. Exactly. And uh, that's coming back. And that's a lot of fun. What are the what characters are the most fun to voice, and what characters are the most challenging to voice? Challenging for me is doing little boys. Oh. Like sometimes they'll, they'll they'll have women, grown women, audition for little boys, and I try to be a little boy. You know, I try to get a little bit like this, <laughs> and I try to get a little bit tough. You know, yeah. but it's like really hard. You know, <laughs> because sometimes it sounds a little bit like a girl. And it's hard to be a little girl because yeah, yeah, without being annoying, you know, because you want to sound like an authentic little girl. And little girls sometimes they shouldn't sound like a grown woman trying to be a little girl. Right, That's right. kind of you know, for some actresses it's really easy. But I'm still like I find that to be challenging. I'm right. great at old women. <laughs> I can do a, I can do a wonderful old Southern woman. I can just talk like that, you know, because I remember when I voice when I was Amanda Wingfield in the Glass Menagerie. Oh, yeah. It had a lot of flowers on it, but they got awful tired. I'm talking <laughs> about my dress that I wore to the, to the governor's ball in Jackson. Oh, it had a lot of flowers on it. <laughs> wow. So I can do like old women. I can do mean old women. I can do nice old women. And I'm getting there myself. So it's becoming second nature. And I can do the loving mom because I feel yeah, yeah. like... I am a mom, and I want to be a good mom, so that 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 comes easily to me, you know. Oh, yeah. I, 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 can I, see that. I can express things, and terror is right on the surface for me. I can do really? terror easily. Because you went into that warrior mode, like ha, ha. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's I mean, just, that's courage. Yeah. That's courage. Yeah. But also, I can do fear really easily. Like, oh my God, no! That, that was good. Yeah. I, I had me right. Here. I was like, whoa. Yeah. I was right there with you. Yeah. It really was. It's not a happy story, but Whoa. I have terror right on the surface. You know what? God's used it as a gift. <laughs> so it's all good, right? Well, what is the most fan requested bit of dialogue from many of your characters? Oh, it's be it's it's Teresa yeah, yeah. from the Wiz Wizards of Waverly Place. Yeah, yeah. Teresa was a fun, passionate, tough mom. And there's a famous line that I get asked to do all the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is... Knock it off! I'm sorry. <laughs> Not that you did anything oh. wrong. Oh, thank but you. I get asked to do that all the time. Yeah. Knock it off! <laughs> and it's fun. Oh. Hey, do you have some obscure voiceover job that your fans would be surprised to know that it was done by you? I don't I don't think so. I think maybe right. one of the voices uh, that's in the Justice League. Yeah, yeah. You might not know that, oh, she was this lady and that, you know. Like additional voices. Additional kind of voices. Right. But right. there's a really wonderfully good, bad movie that 13-year-old yeah, yeah. boys loved. And it's called The Master of Disguise. And I play a very funny character with a very large derriere. <laughs> Dana Carvey is the lead. Uh. And he's fabulous. And it didn't do that well, but let me tell you something. It is a hit with 13 year old boys because it's all impressions and it's silly you know like fart yeah, yeah. jokes oh you yeah know. I love that I love Boy, a good fart joke boys love fart jokes <laughs> yeah uh, go figure go figure <laughs> especially 13 year old boys so that's a big hit with the with people and I'm kind of like proud and embarrassed kind of like both mostly <laughs> proud see they had to build a big fake derriere for me although I have a nice bum the character has to have I'm not a, shaking my head. She has to have an enormous <laughs> bum. Like because that's his thing. His mom had a large bum. All so right. it's like it's what attracts him to women. 
Okay. And not in a disgusting way. It's just something that he yeah. likes. So you see that my character is kind of like normal proportioned right. and then when you see her bottom it's like enormous so they built it for me <laughs> they built a paper mache kind of <laughs> enormous bum wow shape and i put it on like with sh like shorts with an enormous bum attached to it and of course it's <laughs> hilarious yeah, yeah. so for one of my wardrobe fittings screen tests I went outside, I said, excuse me, and I went outside to the sidewalk, <laughs> and I, you know, from the front, I looked perfectly in proportion, and this truck driver passed by, and I turned to the side, and I went, and he went, <laughs> he almost had an accident. <laughs> it's hilarious, and I wish I'd kept it, but uh, it was uh, fun to wait, play. Wait, you wish you'd kept the bottom? I wish I'd kept the shorts with the bottom attack. <laughs> There's a scene where I'm walking and I turn and I knock down one of those signs that, that you know, that says today's specials yeah, on yeah. the sidewalk. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? It's a hoot. It's a hoot. It is. A, what are you working on now? Oh my goodness. I'm very busy, thank God. Okay, I just finished yeah, a movie yeah. called Strong Fathers, Strong Daughters. All right. Uh, and it's beautiful. I have another movie. It's a dance movie called Keep Moving. Okay. And uh, my daughter's in it. <gasps> wow. Bridge Barrera. And... I, I'm recurring on an NBC show called Keenan uh, with Keenan Thompson right, right. and Chris Red and uh, Don Johnson. Yeah. And I play Loretta Lopez. And my character is introduced in the second season. Right. And, and I'm having a great time doing that. Fantastic. And I'm about to shoot a movie in Phoenix called Identity Crisis uh, in January 15th. So I'm very yeah. busy and I'm very, very, busy. very happy to be. Wow. Well, are you on social media? I am. Where can, where can a fan find you on social media? My handle. See how I'm cool? I know what it's called because <laughs> I have teen daughters. Oh. My handle is at Maria underscore CB. At Maria underscore CB. Yeah. All right. Are you married? I am single at the moment. Okay. Well, I just Thanks wanted to... I assumed your wife... Do you know wife, someone? No, no, I'm not trying uh, to say you up, but I assume that your wife picked out your fabulous outfit. Oh, no, that, this is mine. Okay, so this tells me that you have great taste. Thank you. Because you're very stylish. Thank you. I love the bow tie. <gasps> I love the vest, Somebody, the glasses. She, yeah. Really nice. So you like fashion? I Well, I the, the guy at the shop said that chicks dig bow ties, so I, I, I bought this one. You know, certain kinds of chicks dig bow ties, and those are the kind of chicks that you should go out with. <laughs> All right. Only the ones that appreciate you, yeah. your style. Right. Not some stupid bimbo who says, ew, he's got a bow tie, that's not cool. <laughs> you need a woman that goes, ooh, bow tie. I bet he likes the opera and theater. Yeah. I bet he's smart. I am. That's who you should go out with. Right. Don't settle. I, I, I won't, I won't. Well, Good. well, gee, thanks for talking with us. Yes, thank you. It was my pleasure. My You're pleasure. delightful. Yeah. Nivea, huh? <laughs> it's nice. I, I'm ticklish. Very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, here we go. Let's see who else we could see at the Comic Con Revolution 2021. You're you're prettier than you are on uh, on TV. Thank you. That's very sweet. You're welcome. Thank you. I gotta go because I'm gonna blush now. Okay. When you blush, what color is it? Maroon. It is beautiful.